So I'm here with Matt. Nathan. Nathan, sorry. God, okay. God. And we've been doing this for a while. Guys, I'm so sorry. My name is Robert Newman. I'm a marketing consultant and I work with Crystal Seller. And we're doing some content for neighborhood content where we're going to focus on little individual neighborhoods. And uh, Nathan and I are going to tour through San Dimas here, little San Dimas. We're starting off the San Dimas Canyon golf course. Um, which somebody, uh, our golfer in the car, has uh, kindly clued us into the fact that um, it's $40 uh, for 18 holes here. This is an open to the public golf course. Uh, the interesting thing about Nathan is that he's actually lived in this neighborhood for a year, so I'm gonna turn off my emergency lights and we're gonna go for a little tour. And you were saying something about having land because you're, you're, uh, you're personal, you're ho as, a, as a hobby, you're a car guy, mechanic, you also like to, it sounds like you like to ride motorcycles, dirt bikes, things like that. Is there some place to do that in or around this area? Definitely. So uh, San Dimas is still kind of rural in some parts, so there's actually a question in that as well. Uh, but the dream is to just have a huge piece of land, a single story home, detached garage with a trailer, bikes, motorcycles, cars, all of the above. And you can still find that. You could get that here in San Diego. You can find that all day here, yeah. Okay. Are there really, are these deer signs really actually necessary? Are there really, is there really yeah, that much flora and fauna around here? You'll probably see a couple deer around here. Definitely coyotes. I think there's even some bears that come down every now and then. Wow. Oh. Okay. When I lived here, I wasn't so far up towards the mountain. Now, these are really decent sized homes, from what I'm seeing. Yeah, they are. I mean, up here by the hill, you don't get as much land as kind of what I was telling you I enjoyed. Right. Uh, but you still get some beautiful homes. And what is the price range on those homes? Um, now they're anywhere from like 600000 all the way up to one to two million. Okay. And uh, did you happen to check to see, like, if you bought in this area like 10 years ago, like how much would a home go for then versus now? You could have gotten 400000 all day for a, for a nice piece of land, nice size home everything. I don't know if you can see through here, but you can see the view through some of these fences. Okay. The view is beautiful. So you can still get major views, huge homes. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. That's nice. And they don't look that old. Do you have any idea when they started building the particular part of San Dimas that we're in? Are we are we just in a master plan community or what do we uh yeah this one's actually built a little bit later so all this hillside was built much later than the old town San Dimas which is down the hill. So this is probably like 80, 90s. Okay. It's safe to say that this is just a, this isn't representative of all of San Dimas. This just happens to be near the, the, the golf San course. Dimas golf course. So yeah. for those people that are tuning into the video, what we're doing is we're sticking fairly close to the golf course. We happen to be in a newer community, probably built in the 90s. The homes are nice, single story. That's wow, whoever has this home. They have a hell of a view. They've got a hell of a lot still too, bro. Yeah, wow. It's incredible. I think this is a, a... Matt, how do you think? I think this is a pretty good way to end our little San Dimas tour. How about you? Yeah, Nathan, but yeah. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan got it. You can Nathan. Jesus. <laughs>